I don't need to buy any more eyeshadow. I have plenty of eyeshadow to choose from. I am not interested in any new releases. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Sandra and welcome to today's video, which is going to be all about the new Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette, which I caved and I bought slap on the wrist, but you know what? I don't care because this eyeshadow palette has brought me so much joy over the last couple of weeks. Truly gotten me excited about makeup. The packaging is stunning. Um, there was like a limited edition pink one that sold out right away. I was not able to get my hands on that, but I did get just the, the classic black packaging and I have been wearing it every single day for the last week and filming each look that I did in order to share them with you today. Now, I am by no means a professional makeup artist. I am a makeup consumer, a makeup enthusiast. I am going to show you kind of my style of makeup, which is easy, more everyday appropriate. A couple of the looks are a little bit more smoky. Just thought that I would have some fun and, and also kind of incorporating products that I normally use on a regular basis as well, just to kind of sh show you how you can use the colors of this palette, even though you know they might look intimidating, they might look really bold, you can use them in still like a paired back neutral way if you are a neutral eyeshadow lover, um, and you can still have a little bit of fun with your look. There are only two matte shades in this palette, these two right here. Uh, the rest are shimmery, and then these these ones right here, like these three, are more of that bigger glitter particles. And those shadows are designed to be applied either wet with a brush or with your finger. And uh, I watched, uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago now, I, uh, Pat McGrath did a masterclass on her website. It was really fun. And all the proceeds went to charity, which was amazing. And she said that her team uses Mehron mixing medium or water. To, um, to, to wet the brush first and then dip into those shades to get that really maximum reflective shine. And I don't have Mehron mixing medium, so I just use the Aven Thermal Water. Um, she didn't say anything about using like a MAC Fix Plus or like a, a glycerin spray, but I'm assuming those would be fine as well. I just use water because she said, just use water if you don't have Mehron mixing medium. I think that's what that thing is called. Anyway. Without further ado, I'm gonna stop rambling. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask them below. Keep on watching if you wanna see my week of looks with this palette.
is it for me. I had so much fun doing this and I might do this with some other palettes that I have in the future. It was a, it was a fun challenge even though I mean you can tell by the end kind of tend to gravitate towards one particular look more than the others. I really really loved using like this this color this color and then these ones this kind of seems to be my go-to for every day but then I was also incredibly surprised by how much I enjoyed playing with this color which was totally out of my comfort zone and then this color here is truly the star of the show it's like this really really beautiful multi-dimensional color it's like green yellow and pink all at the same time I think it's called sextraterrestrial and it's really beautiful it's not a chunky glitter it's more of like a really refined metallic finish it's one of those colors where you can literally just wear this all over the eye and you can get a really impactful look the colors in this palette are definitely perfect for summer and fall looks i feel like these colors here you can do some really beautiful plummy looks in the fall and winter time with a really dramatic bold lip and then you know we have the bright shimmery peachy colors for uh, nice little summer looks anyway thank you so much for watching as you can tell i absolutely love this palette i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye